taken me a couple times to figure this out, and uh, I'm sure it's taken other people a couple times to figure it out too. It actually, you don't have to use the Wi-Fi builder when you do it. So um, first off, uh, we're going to assume you've got a card that you've loaded into your hotspot that's already loaded with the latest version of PyStar, which includes Auto AP. And you're going to power it up and wait a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, it's going to make a Wi-Fi hotspot for you to connect to. So I have to disconnect from from uh, my Ethernet, and we're going to. Huh? Still not there yet. We're going to look at our Wi-Fi, and you'll see this PyStar setup is a uh, network that's available. So we're going to click on that and click Connect. The security key is Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. And next, eh, just Windows 10 junk. this up a little bit. That's all right. No internet found. It will say that. No, no internet. So, sorry about that. We're going to open up our browser and it's going to say, oh, I don't know where I'm at. We're going to type in 192.168.50.1 and hit enter. And what do you know? There's our hotspot. And we go through the configuration and do everything else like we're supposed to. Um, Probably one of the first things you want to do. Well, I think this is admin and raspberry. Sign in. No? Oh. The hotspot uh, password is PyStar's username, and Raspberry is the password. Now this is a hotspot I've already got set up so don't pay any attention to it. Um, the first thing you want to do is refresh your wireless configuration and um, configure Wi-Fi. Scan for networks and it'll find a network, your network. You're going to select that and you're going to put in your password here. Um, I don't want to do this because I've already got this set up. That's the first thing you're going to do on the Auto AP. Uh, go into uh, put your password and or username and password in Pystar Raspberry. Then go right down to wireless configuration and scan for networks and select your network, put in your network password, and click Save and Connect. And it will restart the PyStar. You're going to have to reconnect to your internet, back to your router again, not the PyStar, because the AP will be gone. The uh, PyStar wireless will be gone. It will be now. It will now be on your uh, network, and you'll have to put in right up here, PyStar.local, and it will come up. It's not going to look like this though. And click configuration, and go through the normal PyStar setup. Clear as mud. Thanks. <laughs> Have fun.